Hello everybody, welcome back to Auctionman 66. I'm Mark, your host, presenter, whatever. I'm here to entertain you as usual. Now this is a community challenge, it's a video response to Nerdy Geezer. <laughs> Forgot me. To Nerdy Geezer. Um, yeah, it's a community challenge, it's a VR response to Nerdy Geezer and Jordy Slasher Gaming and UK Kraut. And what's your favourite gaming memory? Well, I've got so many favourite gaming memories, but this particular one took place around about 90, back end of 97, 98 time. Um, can't remember exactly what particular year it was. I know it won't, it won't be for year 2000. And basically, <laughs> I had an Amiga 500. Yeah, this person bought my Amiga 500 Plus. I, I used to have an Amiga 500 Plus, and this is what I'm going to talk about. And I used to go down to this person's house all the time. Now, yeah, I used to come down to Kevin's all the time. I used to go to his all the time. And, and he's called Wayne. <laughs> he's this lad. And he used to live on, well, near me. He, he lives too far away now. But he, the gaming memory of what I've got is playing on Amiga 500. We began, yeah, we went down. We had a, yeah, we made a night of it, I must admit. Um, I started drinking and played on to Street Fighter. We, and now I must admit, <laughs> we did get a bit, a bit plastered, a bit drunk. And while I was tipsy and that, I was so concentrated on Street Fighter. We completed it, me and him completed it, and then went on to Mortal Kombat. And then he says, look, see how far we can get, we'll challenge each other. I says, okay, fair enough, sir few more beers you know, started challenging and it's amazing when you are drunk on them particular games because I had joypad joystick sort of thing for the Amiga 500 plus we had you know, you know, the joystick light it's amazing how you can do all the um, special moves when you're <laughs> you know, a bit drunk and that's what happened with me and him me, he, you know, he, he'd go first he got so as high as he could then I went and got completed that level we completed so many levels he completed a level I completed a level and when he got to main boss man which inevitably he did he had a go at it I had a go at it and we kept going until we beat it and we did beat it it, it took us a while to beat the main boss man on Mortal Kombat but yeah that were that were good and as well we were drunk as well and we just kept going and we were going all night with that Really all night we had well we didn't get any sleep hardly any sleep and that and eventually I did go home and got some kip I slept for about twelve hours after that but it was an enjoyable night if you know what I mean and that's one of my fondest memories being awake most at night playing on Mortal Kombat on the uh, uh, Commodore Amiga twelve uh, Amiga five hundred plus. It is really, really good memory is that and it's always stuck with me because me and him were absolutely tanked. Yeah, you know, I mean uh, and that. And the mem you know, there was somebody else there as well and he, he had a go as well and he was quite interesting, but he eventually went home, did Mark. And <laughs> and me and Wayne just continued with it and yeah, until we beat it basically. There were quite a few games, you know, yeah, we went on Street Fighter, uh, we did Mortal Kombat and, and there were other games, what we did, I can't remember, I, I, I think we did Galaxian as well, I can't remember exactly what we did, but them two games do come into mind, you know, Street Fighter and uh, <laughs> and the um, the uh, Mortal Kombat, which I liked, on, on the Amiga 500 Plus it played really well, it, 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 it was a cracking game, well, that, that's my fun, that's my favourite favourite memory in such a way and that I think the worst memory I've got is when me you know the worst memory I've got is when my Xbox 360 the arcade version you know the big white thing it said arcade on box version I had it down at Huddersfield in 220 I broke up for a in 2011 about 2011 2012 when I had that and I got Red Ring of Death after well I must admit I, I, I was playing it to death yeah, you know, I played it over for I played it over what a couple of months, and then suddenly it got red ring, and it it, it broke, 
and eventually I never replaced it. I did replace the console, don't get me wrong, but I replaced it with a PS2. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, got, I got another PS2 on that and I quite liked it. It was quite interesting, well, that, it, it really was. So that's the worst memory, it's my 360, but my best memory, you know, you know my most favourite memory, what I can remember, is um, 97, 98, playing on the Amiga 500 Plus with my mate Wayne. Um, quite, you know, quite, quite happy memories with that. And I'm safe, I can tell this story because at the end of the day, they won't know that I'm on YouTube. And uh, yeah, but it were quite happy memories. I, I, I remember playing Street Fighter and, and, and Mortal Kombat on the uh, Omega 500. And we did complete both of them games, by the way. I, I must admit. And that. So, there you go. That's my video. I know it's not a long video, but it doesn't have to be long. It, and it also, I'm not going to tag it. I'm not going to ask for anybody to do it. It's open to the community. He's opened it up. And. You know, anyone wants to have a go at it, they can. So have a go at it. You know, even if you're new to this, just have a go at it. You know what I mean? The community need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a gaming community. What we have got. Um, I'm friends with Nerdy Geezer. You know, but, yeah, friends with him. I'm friends with UK Cat. I'm friends with all of the gaming community. It's just that they don't know me that well. Not like UK Crowd does and, and, and Lee. Nerdy Geezy, he knows me a bit more, but this is a way of getting to know you through gaming stories, I suppose, and that's the way it should be, in my mind. So, if you like this video, please like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell, hit the information icon, and also share the video to Facebook, to Twitter, to anybody who wants, and also please comment below. I do try and answer all comments. and. That's my story, that's my favourite memories of my video gaming at that particular time. It's before they got a console, I must admit. So there you go. Ah, catch you on there. So if you've enjoyed it, please, please. And also, if you want to have a go, have a go. Even if you're new to YouTube, have a go at it. You know what I mean? It's a way of bonding, it, it really is. We said it, UK Crowd said it, it's a way of getting to know people better and better and better. And um, we, you know, everyone's got similar tastes. We ain't got all the same tastes. It would be boring if we all like the same games, would it? Well, there you go. But as you know, I do gaming content as well as filming content, as well as film content as well. So there you go. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.